Welcome back to Forgotten Weapons, the series where we shine some light on guns that are really sucking in Battlefield 4 and are worth avoiding like the plague, or we find some hidden gems away behind those popular choices. Today we're looking at the M60 light machine gun, or as it's more affectionately known, the Pig. Old Piggy Boy here was introduced in the Second Assault DLC for Battlefield 4 as a returning weapon from BF3, and to unlock it, you needed to complete the Dust Devil assignment. This required you to get one anti-vehicle ribbon and destroy five vehicles on the map Gulf of Oman. Fairly simple assignment, and I'm sure many of you who've attempted it have unlocked it with ease. Once you get your hands on the M60, What's immediately noticeable is um, the fact that the iron sights are rather terrible. A large, thick external housing with a small, thin line sitting inside it. It might work well in a real-life situation, but here in Battlefield 4 they just get in the way. You'll also find that the weapon takes up rather a lot of screen real estate in total. It's a rather boxy design, this one, and I think it gives it an overall really cool look. It's rather unique, actually. But then again, it doesn't lend itself to being great at optimizing sort of target acquisition. It, it just sort of gets in the way a little bit again there. Now, the Pig is one of those lucky LMGs in Battlefield 4 to feature the higher damage model of a maximum of 33 damage points up close, dropping to 25 at long range. And this theoretically means that you could drop anybody at any range in four shots. Unfortunately though, the M60 is hindered in so many other ways that honestly I'm not sure where it's supposed to sit in the LMG class. Its stats are a little bit all over the place. Let's start with those bullets, and as I said, you'll be doing a maximum damage of 33 inside 8 meters, dropping out to 75 meters where you'll only be doing 25 damage. But you can't get that many bullets out of the barrel very fast. With a fire rate of only 570 rounds a minute, the M60 is more of a jogger than a sprinter. Muzzle velocity isn't too bad at 600 meters a second, but those two stats added together make hitting longer range targets well, a little bit difficult, really. If you're good at controlling recoil and keeping your sights on target, then with any weapon that you play with, you shouldn't have a problem. But the M60 will probably challenge you that little bit more. You're firing only so many bullets downrange, but they're getting there fairly quickly, which kind of doesn't make for a great situation when you're trying to go for those long-range targets. With that being said, though, stats like the recoil and the reload time seem to make it even more incompatible at those closer ranges. Maybe medium to close range is where you'd expect to be using the M60, but with the recoil straight up at 0.6 and side to side at 0.4 to the left and 0.3 to the right, this thing is a, is a bouncy mess. I'm not entirely surprised at those values, but it's by no means the worst heavy hitting LMG out there. The M240 Bravo is even more bouncier here than the M60 is but that doesn't make it any easier for keeping sights on target. If you add to this that the reload of any length, you have to remember here that the gun is box fed and the reload is always going to be the same length, the M60 takes a whopping 7.8 seconds to get back to full capacity. That's a horrific statistic and really for any range that you're trying to fire the M60 at, you better make sure 1000% that there is nobody in the area at all because otherwise you're going to get totally wrecked by somebody come around the corner. 7.8 seconds is, is silly. If you think somebody can run 100 meters now in about 9.5 seconds, it takes you nearly as long to reload the M60 in Battlefield 4. So if you're trying to play this thing at close range, as I said, you better make sure that nobody's around you because it's going to take you a while before you're ready to start firing again. And finally, the M60 only holds 100 rounds in its box, meaning you'll need to reload the thing more often in comparison to some of the other better LMGs like the MG4 or the M249. So you've got that really long reload and a smaller amount of bullets than probably what you'd expect and overall doesn't make for a, a great combination. So, should you be using the M60? 
Well, if you're looking to be fully competitive on the battlefield, then I'd have to say no. But if you're looking to have some fun, then I'd say 100% yes. It is a tricky weapon to master, but once you've got the feel for that recoil and the low rate of fire, it can be a rather cool weapon to use and drop some people from strange angles. I'd recommend the MG4 over this weapon every single day of the week if you're looking to try and get as many kills as possible and try and actually be competitive within your team and help your team out. The thing is just a bullet hose. 200 rounds in a box, high rate of fire, high bullet velocity, and it works extremely well with a suppressor attached. The M60 is for people who want a high damage weapon that rewards a careful playstyle and someone who really does like a challenge. But there we go, that's the M60 out of the way. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, if you could hit me up with a like, that's always appreciated. And make sure you head over to g2a.com slash r slash Westy and pick yourself up a great deal. But until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.